you know, I, I just tried to figure out what does it what does it take to become a champion? And then I go, hmm, it takes desire, you know, it takes diligence, it takes direction, it takes discipline, and it takes dedication, you know? So I was just thinking, it just came to me one day and I was like, man, you know what? I can create a curriculum off of that and actually show people, you know, how, what it takes to me, to me what it takes to become the best that you can be in any area of your life. And, um, you know, for me, you know, I'm able to share that through the art of mixed martial arts. Um, through the art of wrestling, which I which I got into, and and um, I got them up in my gym, you know, and I got them listed very 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 big for people to see, and that's my desire is to show people what the five D's are, what they're about, and how people can implement them in their life. Desire is important because you can't you can't teach somebody how to have desire. You know, it's actually something that's internal, something that's um, something that's in you. You can actually teach a lot of things, but desire is is one of those things that if you have it, you have it. If you don't, then you know you need to find it somewhere because everyone has desire, and everybody has degrees of desire, but you have to dig it out for yourself. Look, look at my hip pressure, guys. My hip is on the shoulder, okay? This is very important, okay? Just the slightest, slightest inch. I need to put hip pressure on the shoulder, so now if I, see that, if his hip's on the ground, now I can get around, try to grab my leg. Try to grab it wide. Yeah, because there's so much pressure on the shoulder, okay? That's, that's a small detail that's very, very important, okay? Because a lot of us think sprawl, get away from my opponent as much as possible. That's, that's not the case, all right? I want to sprawl and I want to score, okay? You guys got that? Okay? <laughs> Try it out, okay? Ready, go. So, your, your small detail is helping a lot. Yeah, it's like, all the detail, you know? <laughs> all the detail. Yeah. Go. Ow, whoa. Guys on the wall. I'm I'm not gonna just, just just keep on trying to fight this and him pick me up and slam me on the ground. No. Okay? I'm gonna put more pressure on him, okay? Here. Boom. Now I'm here, look. I got good position. Yeah.
different ways to to communicate better, and you find different ways to to do to to do things better, and that's what it's all about, you know. And um, you know, you gotta unlock that desire, and in order to unlock the desire, you need you need to just stay on it and, and never quit. So I want, I want one hard drive. You ready, dude? You ready? You ready? Good job, guys! Desire actually comes out in a lot of different ways in a fight. One is never giving up. Uh, two is the technique that you see because, you know, in order to be be very successful in mixed martial arts, you got to have the desire to learn. You have to have the desire to become the best that you can be in any type of, in, in any situation in a fight. So that desire comes out. So, you know. Your desire to be the best actually is is twofold: becoming the best that you can be with your conditioning and technically. So um, you see it, you see it a lot. You see it a lot in fights. You, you see people that are always improving, um, and, and that's it. that's very important, especially in our sport and our day and age. Because if you're not improving, then you know chances are you might you might get um, pulled away from from the UFC. So you always have to improve, and, and um, yeah, that's that's very important to me. Every time I step into the octagon, I definitely want to improve, and I definitely want people to see my desire in the octagon um, with with learning and never giving up. Yeah.